go back and do the actual assignment here. Okay, now I'll answer the first one here so y'all can kind of just, all right. Answer the sixteen. Anybody that feels really behind this week? Yes. All right. Let's just go ahead and answer. How about that? Insert pivot table. Okay. Make sure it's copied. What A one to A C three fifty eight not drag it manually when it does. And we're going to insert a new worksheet. And you'll want to go ahead and name it Excel pivot or whatever. No, you don't have to if that's the only name one Chipotle and one so I can see what you actually did. Uh, for my purpose, I'm just going to change the same chart over and over. But how many people, how many respondents listed Chipotle as the most visited over the last six months? Okay. So here's one where we are going to want to look. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and set up stuff in the table where easier for me to see the total number of visits to Chipotle in the past three months. I think I originally had that screwed up and I put last uh, month and it was given, you know, yeah, that was my fault. So if you look, this is where you have to go. So question one, one you visited most in the last six months. Uh, question three is how many times have you eaten at Chipotle in the last three months? Okay. So total number of visits, so that's total number of times. So that's going to be patronage every time you get out of there. If you just click on there, it'll kind of pull your table back up easily. So we got top. Now we're looking for patronage here, question three. Let's put that down there. And it asks for how many times. So values for that is what we want in the columns here. Some, no, nope, we want. That would be the total number of meals, which is actually another question, but um, we won't. So change value field settings and go up here and hit count. So what that's telling us is number, number of people that ate at your Chipotle zero times in the last three months was 285. One time was 20. Two times was 24, because everybody that put a two, it's counting since it separated all those out for us in the pivot. So we want to filter. Since this question is um, Chipotle, we want to filter that, right? I'm going to unclick that and just click this and hope there ain't any other spellings that are so bad they're not right there. Okay, so total number of visits to Chipotle in the last three months. How many respondents Chipotle is the most visited? So, um, looks like 42. Somebody done that, is that right? The total number of people that said they visited Chipotle most in the last six months. Okay, and we want the total number of respondents because we're at count so we're looking at all 
Now we want the total number of visits. That's where we're going to drag patronage down again and use the sum. So we had one person that visited twice, so there's the two. Three person, three people that visit. Um, Two people that visited once, and that's a two. Two people that visited three times, that's a six. One person that visited four, and that's a four. You add those 12 total meals in the past three months. Out of 42 people that said they visited this restaurant most in the last six months. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, now we want the average number of meals that people, these 42 people ate. So we wanna drag that sucker down again. Value and change that to average. And that should give us the mean 0.28. Does that give you any directions for how to round this off? Oh, for the 0.28, what was it? Five, five, eight or something like that. 0.2857. Okay. How many of these visited more than one time, basically? One, two, three. So out of 42 people that said they visit Chipotle all the time, basically, only three of them have been there more than once in the last three months. Um, how many didn't come back at all? 37. I guess they got tired of it after the first three months. So that, now we're gonna go look at Chick-fil-A. Okay. Make it quicker for me. I'm just going to change this. I already have my stuff in there. Um, all right. So out of Chick fil A, we had 33 people that said they ate at Chick fil A most in the last six months. Now those 33, they visited Chipotle a total of 15 times in the last three months. They averaged roughly a half a visit per, per respondent, so 0.45, Five, maybe. Point four, five, four, five. Okay. All right. How many visited more than once? Okay, I just started two and count. You can filter it if you want. Okay, looks like I got a three, four, five. So more of them eight came back, you know, multiple times. Um, how many didn't, didn't visit at all? 26. Okay, that's fine. It really ain't that bad. So, you know, yeah, maybe it's a little high, but maybe these people don't like burritos or chicken. Okay, now we got Panera bread. That's kind of more like this because, you know, Chipotle is not cheap. Um, I've got a couple of different spellings, so I'll grab both of those. All right. 50 people said they ate Panera bread most in the last six months. 
think you more money than I got. Um, total number visits to Coatley is 33. Average, the average person that likes Panera most, you know, 0.66 visits to our place. Six, six uh, zero zero. Uh, if I got that right, y'all getting the same. How many repeat visitors? Okay. Starting at two, we got six, seven, eight, ten. I don't remember ten being an answer. Maybe it was. Um, how many didn't visit us at all? Thirty-eight out of fifty. Okay. Kind of gives us an idea who are competitors, or we can kind of piggyback off their ads and where they place them. Um, now we're doing the same thing for Subway. We can unclick and then a couple of different spellings for Subway there, which text message that's something so 40 total people eat subway most often out of those those 40 they a total of 18 times in our place that's 0.45 trips for Subway customer. Multiple trips when we got you know, five. 31 didn't visit us at all. Anybody caught up so far with those? All right, so this is kind of where I was asking what you think about these numbers. Anybody got any ideas? Looks like people like the variety. They're bouncing around from one place to another. Maybe. Not staying very long at any one restaurant. Maybe, but what about the people? I mean, it said they visited us the most, and we got the the worst return. What does that tell us? And this is not in the textbook. It's just something marketers and you know you should kind of be on the lookout for um look at what it is okay they designed a digital survey in a in a park made out a generic gift gift card kind of walking up people probably most people think the only reason especially if they're dressed up and tell them they're collecting this for chipotle they if they're going to get something for free they're just entering chipotle down whether they've even been there or not because it's probably like an email the card to you or something other <laughs> when you fill it out and send it in you know, your stuff and then it'll send you an email. So they probably figure they're not gonna get their, their gift card or whatever it is. Unless, you know, that would be my guess. 
either there or these people do, you know, they see, maybe they sent some, you know, Oh, and that example problem. I didn't put it in this one. I know why I wasn't getting the right answer. In that, that 32. It, I think it may have asked how many females 1820. Maybe that's what he was doing. So look and see. I'm just kind of grasping at straws here. Yeah. 300 and this is what I'm getting out of this. Out of 357 people that, that responded, Only 72 were female. Out of those 72, 62 were pretty honest. <laughs> um, no, it's variable here. Patron. Said they didn't eat there. Let's see how many of them looked at us. Yeah, only seven actually wrote totally in there. Now those seven, six of them did. So probably. Uh, Seven people that chose totally the top and six of them didn't need it at all. And then, you know, for an average of 14, but still that's a very small number. Probably, I would guess, these seven people may be friends and they were just putting stuff in and uh, the people doing the, the survey and just based on those numbers, I may be wrong. Uh, he probably had some pretty little girl going around asking guys to fill out in a Chipotle shirt and they were putting Chipotle down at the top. That would just be my guess. So these numbers are probably all crap. Just kind of blank because you wouldn't expect to see, there's probably some undue influence somehow. People that eat, you know, actually eat there most often, that many of them that didn't come back in the last three months. Uh, that's really the only explanation I would have for that, unless somebody else got something better. Uh, page. I think Chipotle index is higher for millennials typically. And um, if you look at the comparison against Panera and Subway and things like that, the genre of food, I'm, I market for a, a, a fast casual and, and, you know, we wouldn't consider people outside of our food category as reasonable competitors, even if they're um, a part of the consideration set, you know, so we kind of have to look at the reason why that bounce back isn't occurring. And I think for Chipotle using, you know, Subway and Panera, and, and I think there's McDonald's in there and things like that, you're looking at very different sort of customer base for each one of those. I mean, Panera would index much more female oriented, um, you know, and, and probably well, upwards of the millennials more, you know, you'd have an older millennial, I break millennials in a couple of groups, older millennial, Gen X, even skewing even older with women, you know, obviously McDonald's is its, its own thing as well. But I, I think that that standpoint, I mean, going to a park, I mean, I understand the need to try to get, you know, um, I understand the that. most unbiased data possible, that. but you had all these people that specifically said they at Chipotle more than any other place. Um, uh, 
And then when you pull patronage down there, even though they ate there the most out of any of them, the majority of them hadn't eaten there in three months. Yeah, I'm not buying that. And the reason I picked those Panera, I just picked them out to look, hey, these are so different, but these other places are wildly different. Um, they're coming back to our restaurant more than our supposed people. Yeah, I'm not buying that. That was the big discrepancy for me. I agree. The affinity that they're stating they have doesn't support the frequency. Yeah, that's what I said. So can you trust the rest of it? My guess, probably the rest of it's fine. Since that was the first question and probably somebody was showing them how to enter that in and they didn't want somebody from that store seeing them enter somebody else or I don't know. My guess is the people that gave that energy, gave that um, survey or questionnaire were wearing totally uh, uniforms or something, which influences you. You say, I am just an observation. That, that, that's the only thing that stood out. The rest of it, in, you know, after they got past it first, where they think somebody's watching them, or maybe that's their buddy and they're trying to make them look good. And, you know, the rest of the answers, and good chance they maybe they were um, correct. It's probably good enough to use. But yeah, you wouldn't. Totally wouldn't compare themselves to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. I just were kind of pulling to say, hey, look, no matter which type or whether it's you got chicken favorites or fast food or sandwiches or same, you know, cost bracket, you know, all of everybody else's customers are coming back more than these people that say they are. That was just kind of wanting to see where anybody pick up, whatever y'all put in there. If you, reasonable you get credit for it so some things i just kind of want you to look back and think about so here we are who all has done the r and needs help with the r so then you just save that under your name whatever um and upload it into the file so I can see what y'all put into the pivot. That way, if you miss something, or you know, I can look and see. Um, maybe if you put a wrong filter in or something, and it caused you to miss all four, so be sure to save it and upload it. And, you know, I can look and see. Hey, everything else was done correctly, and I can kind of balance the array a little bit. Um, 